Are you just cringing thinking about all the bullet points you're going to have to make for this new project or course? Hi, I'm Ken with Learning Zen, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a reusable, a reusable, a reusable bullet point in Camtasia. Hey, thanks for checking out the channel. If you like this video, why don't you go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, and the notification bell. We'll be coming out with new how-tos every week. So let's get into making a reusable bullet point. So here we are inside Camtasia 2021. And to create this bullet point, the first thing you're going to do is go to the toolbar on your left hand side and you're going to select annotations. And for this, I want to go to the first category, which is callouts. And I just want to select a plain text. So we'll just grab this text here and you'll drag it right onto your canvas. And when you do that, you can see that it puts it right down here on your timeline as well. So we have this in here. I'm just going to type in what I want this bullet point to say. We'll just call it a bullet point. And then I can resize. So you'll resize it to the size that you're looking for, depending on the project that you're working on or the course that you're building. So I think I'm good with that size there. Now, if you want to make changes to this text, on the right-hand side, you will go to the Properties menu. And from here, you can change the color of the text. You can change the font style. So if you have a brand font or if you're working on a course or a project for a client, their brand font. So let's go down here and we'll choose uh, Droid Sans. It's around here, so there we go. All right, and since that changed, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. All right. You can change the size of the text. You can change the alignment, the spacing, everything, you do that right here on the Properties panel. Once you have your text to where you want it, the next thing that you'll do, again, from the toolbar, you're going to stay on annotations, and this time you're going to select the category of shapes. So you'll click on shapes, and here you can use any shape that you want to use to help create your bullet point. Again, this is going to depend on your personal style or the brand specifics or the style uh, for the project that you're working on. So we'll just use this square here. They refer to it as a rectangle. Looks like a square to me. Uh, you'll just grab that, slide it right over onto your canvas, and just line it up somewhere near your bullet point. And now you're just going to resize. I would recommend when you do this to hold down the shift key and resize that way. That way you keep your shape. It doesn't, uh, a rectangle or a square doesn't turn into a circle <laughs> or some other shape. And we'll just make this right about there. We'll slide this down into place. And again, it can be a little bit above the center of the text. Uh, it could be even with the center. Again, your preference on how you want to create your bullet point. And you'll see that when I put that square in there, it dropped it right on top of my timeline again, right over top uh, on the next track of the bullet point. So if I have my square selected, again, I can make all of my changes on the right in the properties panel. I can change the shape if I want. I can change the color. You can change an outline. So maybe when you create a bullet point, what if I don't want a solid 
That's no problem. I'll come over and I will take the opacity of my rectangle all the way down. And the outline, I will bring that thickness up. I have an outline with a hollow middle. Okay, so I'm just going to take this back to full opacity. I'm going to get rid of that outline. I'm going to leave that just like that. So once you have your bullet point designed, the next thing that you'll do is come back down here onto your timeline, left click and select your square, and then control select your text. And with both of them selected, you're going to right click and group. And now those two assets have become one and you can move them around the screen as one asset instead of two separate assets. Now to save this, what you will do is select your new group, right click and add to library. So you're going to add this to the library. You will give it a name. If you have your own library, which I recommend, uh, you can save it there or you can save it in the default library. And then click OK. So let's get rid of this one that we just created. And we're in my library now and I'm just going to grab uh, one of the bullet points I've already created and just drag it right down onto my timeline. And here I can now change the text to be whatever I need for the project or the course that I'm working on. So if you want to make changes to the text, anything, the color, the shape, you can do all of that on the right hand side on the properties panel. Right here, the way you see it, you can change the color of the rectangle. You can change the shape of the rectangle if you want it to be something different. If you wanted to just change the text, you would do that right here. You can just type directly in, enter, and your text is changed. Now, if you wanted to make other changes, you could do that as well. So again, if there is a specific brand font or a font that has been requested to be used on the project you're working on, you can click on the text editing properties. And right from here, you can change the font. You can change the style, the size, the color, everything right here. But you don't have to rebuild the whole thing. And if you have another bullet point, you just grab that one, bring it down, either put it on top, next to, however you're going to uh, have these come on the screen. And there's the next one. And if I need to change that, I could just change that. So there it is, a nice, simple, easy way to save yourself from doing double, triple, quadruple work. Just create a reusable bullet point. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button and the notifications bell because we will be coming out with new how to's every week. Until next time, remember to laugh more, learn more. See ya.